Okay, so let's take a look at question number C here, where the uh, quadratic is just a little bit more uh, complicated because we've put a number 3 here in front of the x squared. So we're going to have to treat this pretty much the same way, but we're going to have to just do it a little bit different in terms of the technique here. So the way you start with a question like this is we're going to start by grouping and then factoring um, the first terms here that have x squared and x in it. Okay, so what I like to do is we're going to just kind of pull these off to the side by just putting brackets around them and leaving the 141 on the outside by itself. Now the second step we want to do here is we want to factor out the number 3 so that we have the x squared by itself. But remember we're going to factor it out of the 42 also so that's going to leave us with 14x and then the 141 still stays on the outside. <clears throat> so now in this case, what we need to do is we need to find the term that we are going to add to the 14x so that we can create a, um, a perfect uh, trinomial square. So we'll kind of fill in the, the blanks here so you can kind of see what we're doing. So we're going to add a number okay, that I'm going to put right here, but then right away we're going to subtract the same number. Okay, so a little bit different than what we did before because we can't change this equation. So we're just adding a value, but then we're going to subtract the same value because it'll, the net result is still going to be zero. Okay, and then the 141 stays on the outside. <clears throat> so what number are we going to add here? Because we want to, what we're going to end up grouping is the first three terms together to create that trinomial square. So we look at our rule again. So we take 14, we divide that by 2, which gives us 7. Okay, and then the second part of the thing, the function here is you take the 7 and you square it, which is equal to 49. So that means we're going to add 49, but then right away we're going to subtract 49. Okay, because that's going to make the net change is 0. But what this is going to allow us to do is group another set of terms here. Okay, so that is the technique that we're going to use. Okay, so then what we have to do is we can kind of figure out, well, how are we going to, to group this all together? So I have 3 times x squared plus 14x plus 49. Okay, now I do also have this negative 49 here. Okay, but what you got to be careful in this case is the, this negative 49 is actually 3 times negative 49 because this 3 here sits on the outside. So if we're going to remove the part of the bracket and bring it in, we have to account for this. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to rewrite the equation like this. Okay, this is going to be what I want to factor. But then 3 times negative 49 is actually negative 147. Okay, then plus 141. So now I've got my equation in a point here where I can factor it. So the 3 still stays on the outside. This is going to just be x plus 7 squared. Okay, and then negative 147 plus 141 is going to give me minus 6. Okay, so from this equation here, okay, well, I'm just going to put a box around it here. You can generate the vertex. Okay, which is going to be, uh, remember, it's x minus h, so when it's a plus 7, that first number is going to be a minus 7, because it's minus, minus 7 to give you that plus 7, and then the k value is negative 6. So our vertex here is going to be negative 7, and then negative 6, which is going to be about right here. Okay, our equation of the axis of symmetry is just x is equal to the x coordinate of the vertex line, and in our parabola, if we were to sketch it, it, would be something possibly like that. You'd have to plot the exact points. But So this is the technique. This is a little bit of a harder question because of that 3 that goes in front. Okay, so when you do this question, you, you, you work it out the same way, except that because we have that 3 that we factored out, okay, when you do completing the square, whatever you're adding, you have to subtract right away. But that's whatever you're subtracting is multiplied by whatever number is in front of the brackets. So, so you have to sort of account for that properly. Okay, so this is how you'd approach question number um, 8C. Okay, just a little bit harder because of that term in front.